Welcome back. We are in Escher's lab. And actually, uh, Escher in his speech in the previous video finally told us what the tablet was for. Well, we'd sort of guessed it already. The tablet controls the barrow, controls the full power of the, of the barrow. Escher seems to be very scared of what would happen if the, the barrow are not controlled, while Yisha seems to want to free them. Two opposing views, so which one is right? I'm guessing that that's going to be an important question in this game. Although Escher called this his lab, I think he probably didn't construct it. Seems more like it's a Barrow uh, dwelling, originally. Especially considering all the Barrow writing on the outside. I would guess that probably just this wooden platform was built by Asher. And he did a pretty sloppy job. I mean, Atrus was uh, definitely a better builder than Asher was. Escher also heavily implied that he was doing experiments on the barrow here. And we can see a cage up there, which is probably where he kept them. It would be pretty hard to uh, keep a barrow uh, captive, considering they can link out at will. But he probably used the, the snakes again to keep them from linking, as he said. He also claims that he takes no pleasure in what they had to endure here, but frankly, considering how much he hates to borrow, I have my doubts about that. Uh, some kind of three-pronged instrument, no idea what that is. And a whole bunch of drawings. see appears to be the uh, muscular structure of a knee joint. I'm guessing that's a borrow knee joint. A bone. Some more skeletal structure. So uh, there's all kinds of things that Escher has been discovering about the, uh, the borrow I suppose. Not sure what this is. Maybe the rye. This looks like our slate. It has the symbol of the snake on it, which uh, Asher also drew in the in the air while he was speaking. And this one appears to be. Skull of the barrow or something. Not entirely sure what the rest is supposed to represent. This doesn't look like a barrow. It looks more like this place, this lab. You can see there's something that looks like a ladder at the top. And there is indeed a ladder up there. Suspended against the ceiling. We look here. We see this in this picture. The ladder is at is also horizontal, much like it is up there. In this picture, the ladder is vertical, which probably allow you to climb it. It's not the only difference. You can see some passages at the bottom of the lab, which are open here. In this one, they're closed. Well, Escher said that if we seal the keep. We could climb, so probably closing the passage into the keep will drop that ladder. Some more drawings. Guessing that this is the Barrow language, which I suppose that Escher has been studying as well. 
and I would guess the brain structure. In order to find out uh, all this stuff, Asher really has to have done some pretty gruesome experiments uh, on the Barrow. I mean, dissected them. And knowing him, they might have been alive while he did that. And actually, the situation is far worse than you even think it is. You know how we've been wondering how Escher is actually linking in and out without using a book? And we theorized that it had something to do with that patch he has on his left shoulder that he always touches when he links? That patch on his shoulder, although it isn't explicitly mentioned in the game, is actually the skin of a barrow. Escher put part of the skin of a barrow on his costume so he can use it to link. I don't know how he controls where he's going, but he must have found out a way to do that. Still, that's pretty, pretty bad. I mean, yeah, I just, I just get chills down my spine just thinking of it. Anyway, we need to seal off this lab to drop that ladder at the top. But that also means that we need to get inside while the passage is sealed. And th for that, of course, we can use this pedestal. So let's memorize this symbol. And go back outside, draw it on the slate. Ah. Ran out of space for my mouse there, so I <laughs> couldn't make the turn. Another snake. And just uh, flitted by at the bottom of the screen. Don't know if you saw it. Uh, some of these passages are a bit hard to get into uh, if you use free move mode, like I'm doing. And we're back outside. So, let's get the slate and draw that symbol on it. Sort of looks like a dynamite plunger, you know, one of those detonators that you see them using cartoons. That's strange. He didn't reject the symbol, but he didn't link away with the uh, the tablet, of, with the slate. Why is that? Well, not too difficult to answer. Because Asher said they won't go into the lab. Whether that's because of the snakes, or because of what Asher's been doing for, to them in there, I don't know. So the Barrow won't take the slate there, which means that we'll have to do it ourselves. Because it isn't necessary for the Barrow to play place the slate on the uh, pedestals. Although I'm not entirely sure if they need to have touched it. If you need to have drawn the symbol on it, or if just putting it here would be enough. I've never actually tried that. Anyway, now that we've put it here, we should be able to uh, link back. Yep, 
Yes, now we can link back into the lab. Why the hell did I just walk outside before? Why didn't I link here? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Something else I want to try out with the slate, but we'll have to do it in the next video.